Hi, Dan Casey here. If you have an IRA and you're charitably inclined, please don't give to charity this way. I'm going to show you how to do it better right after this. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. Okay, so the part of the tax code that most people are aware of is that if you are charitably inclined and you're at the point in your IRA and your retirement benefits where you have required minimum distributions or the amount that you've got to take out of your retirement accounts, there is a part of the tax law where you can uh, take your required minimum distribution, give it to charity, and it will not count as income. I do not like that way. It's not my preferred way of doing it. Uh, what I prefer to do is take deal with your IRA and if it's too big and you don't want those required minimum distributions and deal with that before it's too late, before required minimum distribution time. Because the, the best way to do it is take non-retirement money, put that into uh, a charitable account, whether it's a donor advice fund or charitable remainder trust, lots of good, cool ways of dealing with the assets that way than uh, leaving it into an IRA and then taking it from an IRA. Um, especially like uh, highly appreciated stocks. Like say you owned, you know, you bought a company a decade ago and now it's, it's gotten so high where if you sell it, the taxes are huge. Well, you could give that stock to charity instead and you won't have to pay any taxes on it um, and you get a deduction for doing so. Big, a deduction, uh, which could be awesome. So um, it's really something that you need to look at. Especially when you, if you put non-retirement money into like say a charitable remainder trust, um, not only do you get a big fat deduction for doing so when you do it in that year that you can use to offset conversions and all that stuff, but that's a whole nother video. Um, once you put it into charity, the charity doesn't even get it until you die. While you're alive, you can use that money for income. So remember, you got a big deduction, you got guaranteed income for the rest of your life, and then when you die, whatever's left over goes to charity. Um, so, folks, if you're charitably inclined and uh, want to do that, please talk to me or your attorney or your tax person, whoever it may be, but do it now.